thought so that it's an extremely disappointing development. Um, you know, many Indians have been seething with frustration at the way in which uh, people who are, uh, if not terrorists themselves, are flagrantly inciting violence against our country, talking about the dismemberment of India, have been able to get uh, complete freedom uh, and sanctuary in a country like Canada. But we have valued our relationship with Canada and we have not escalated our concerns beyond a certain point, though we have, I'm sure, conveyed them at various levels to the Canadian authorities. It's a relationship we've always valued. The trade is, 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 is at considerable levels. We have a large Indian diaspora population there, 1.7 million people in a country of just 40 million. We also have, of course, a large number of Indian students and the number has been increasing. So there have been a lot of things we value in the relationship. Um, I would have expected that Canada would value the relationship as well. But uh, the extraordinary decision of the Prime Minister to go public with an allegation without a shred of evidence uh, of Indian government complicity in a murder in his country shocks me, to be very frank. Uh, I believe um, the story is that it was triggered by the fact that a, uh, a media leak was about to happen of this allegation. A media story is one thing for a prime minister, for political reasons, to want to get ahead of a media story. Uh, and and uh, you know, it, it really looks like it's uh, uh, doubling down on the pandering to a certain political element uh, in that country. Uh, we know the government uh, is, is uh, dependent upon certain support, um, and perhaps this is why they needed to do that. They have elections also coming up very soon.